Hi, this is from Mother Paul with Take Two. The first puppet band, and this was too dark, so I've decided to redo it. And uh, anyway, this is the update on the 1 200 scale trumpeter HMS Nelson. Um, I've already filmed the second part because <laughs> that I thought it wasn't very good, but it, it's clear. But I'm going to use my tent uh, vid camera tent uh, for, next, for the next ones for these small sections of little vehicles, little bits and pieces, so make it a bit brighter. But anyway, but it is clear, it clearly clear, and I didn't realize it was because when you look at the screen, sometimes it doesn't look as sharp, and then when you look on the big screen and you see it on the, on the monitor, it's much better. Anyway, just to let you know that I've uh, started on the chimney uh, of, the, of the Nelson, I've still got a couple of bits I found on, as you'll see, I've, I've got a do that I thought I glued on and I hadn't but that's straightforward that's a good thing about doing a video because you can actually see what you've missed so I've made a note of that I've started on my chimney and I don't know if you're going to see much of this but there's the holes in the top of that uh, funnel part um, ready for the PE because the PE is all going to be put on this because there's an actual walkway a walkway that goes across round it and also a walkway that's raised that goes across the top so basically I suppose the maintenance can be done within the chimney area so i so it'd be able to do I've actually this is the chimney and I've removed the locating pins from this part so when you can see that it's actually been filled in all the sink marks have been filled and I've actually filled in where the actual um, cut off and sanded smooth what where the actual pins were as well so they got, won't be there because when you put this together with the, the actual bit centre bit in it still will fit because it's still got the lower pins and also the actual the searchlight area which is like the same on the Rodney is like a locating pin in itself as well so all been cleaned up and done and this part's fit ready to go and the next part isn't quite ready to go because I'm filling it and that's why it's on this thing and the, this was where the holes were look, look for the pins on the other part which I've taken off the raised area and started to fill the indentations and as you can see a bit of white plastic there that's white plastic odd and that's what I'm doing there and I've done the same with a bit inside so that's going to look quite nice when you look in there you won't see no pins where it joins it's, it's all disappeared so that would be okay and I've test fitted that as I go and I've done that part that's all been done that's a bit and that is the locator it really is a solid and firm locator on the on the funnel for this vehicle, this this vehicle what I'm saying this ship um I've actually done all the I've put a little bit of paper in there like Ron does with a bit of paper I've done all these little funnel sections that come up there's pipes that come up and they've all been I don't know if you're gonna I'll, I'll try and see if I can get you to see this they've actually been drilled I don't know whether you can see that anyway but they've all been drilled so and cleaned up so they're all ready to go all five of those are ready to go around the chimney and I've test fitted and they, they look they're cool okay and now I'm going to be started on my PE and the PE I can show you now is this the, this the, the bottom part of this sheet and that's all the PE I've got to do now I think you can see it's a good idea of what's actually inside as well so that, that's what I'm going to be doing next. And then I'll be spraying all that properly and the inside the tops, uh, at the top of this funnel when I'm finished. They're doing a PE, so it's ready to go in and it's and I haven't got to uh, touch it up at all. So it's going to be quite an interesting funnel. That's the reason I've done all the cleaning up inside because I thought myself, all that PE, and then you look down and you see that round the outside, it's not going to be so, so clever. But I think you can see it all bits and pieces. There you go. So that's all the pee it's got to go on it. So that's what I'll be. That's what I'm working on at the moment. And uh, yeah, so that's that's that bit really. So I think now it's basically. Oh, I could um, I could show you the the kit that's come today or the other day. I think I've mentioned it, but uh, this is going to be a bit awkward. I might as well just see what it was. I suppose really. I think you can see <laughs> it's one to one scale HMS USS Arizona BB 39 and it's a 1941 one there you go that come and that's believe it or not that is actually six inches shorter about six inches shorter than the Nelson so it's, an, it's not a bad size at all I'll put it over there at the way now so so I should have had a photograph but anyway I've also got the mark one PE set coming for that and the deck and I've also got 
already got the Edward. I think I might have mentioned that Edward before. Edward set with that. I don't know whether I did or not. I have to look on another video. But anyway, but I've got that. But I'm going to keep that as a backup. And if I don't need it for when the Mark One goes, Mark One set works all the way through, I will sell on those those six sets of, of PE. It's not a problem. So that's what I should do. So that's where I'm going. I'm now we're going to go down to the bench now to see the, the sec the, the second video I did because I had to reshoot this one earlier. So thank you very much, and I'll catch you in a couple of seconds. Well, sorry about this. I'm going to have to get something sorted out for behind the screen a, a decent colour. I've got the booth to use next time, the actual uh, uh, filming booth, which I'll use the next time to do these little parts. So anyway, <coughs> anyway so here's the mask actually completed and finished. And, and you might see there's a white bit there. I, the P parts were so fine they kept breaking. So in the end, I had to make some using a, a Dremel drill press and a, a pin vise uh, to actually do some one of the holes going across the, the mask. This bit here, you can see sticking out the back here, I had to make with some uh, brass rod and I actually bent it and then uh, placed it in place. The plastic part would have looked at odd at place and there wasn't, the, them parts weren't in the, um, the MK kit. I don't know what happened, whether they was missing in, went on when it was made. But anyway, but I've got around that by doing the brass bits. Um, you can actually see now, I've actually got the bottom ladders in place. You should be able to see that down there, the bottom ladders in place, both sides, and they fit on the ship quite nicely and flush to the deck, which is nice. That was done. Um, I think I'll try to zoom in a bit here. Come up a bit. More to the Mars this time. Oops. And I think you can see there's a ladder on there. The ladder goes all the way up and there's also a short bit of ladder on the front at the top there which actually helps them to get to the actual radar, the actual uh, mast up here, wireless or radio mast. Um, there must be bits up there you can actually change perhaps at some point. But, oops, you can't see up there. There you can see the ladder. I think you can just about see it there. There you go, it's a better view of it there. So that's been done. So I'm quite chuffed with the way it turned out so far. That's not glued in place, by the way. I'll just put it on there for the actual seat to do the filming. So as I come out now. Show the whole thing as we go around. Some more commands. I put these on the other day when we was actually doing it, and I've got some more bits to do around the side and ladders to go on the side, so they will do. But the good thing is, I can do that to this, and I haven't put the brass plaque on the front yet either. So, so there you go. If I'll put that slightly out, so that's that one. So, if I move, I'm gonna have to excuse me, I'm gonna use my old ROM pot as I call it, <laughs> take that off, put this back in here. I'm oh, sorry, I'll normally do this, put this on there. Gives it a bit more support in there, and then the actual foam goes in the other side, over this side, just to actually stay in put anyway. I think I did it there. Oops, I don't want to ruin this because it's took a lot of work to do. So, so there you are. It's going to go back up in the cupboard now before I break anything, so I'll put that up in there now. Oops. Yep, that's up there lovely. Right, here we go. So I'll put this back up as well. But just to show you, it has been done a little bit. There's the ladders on the backs. All been done in there, including the ones that come down in this part as well. There you go. So i put that back up. I'm going to sort my lights a bit out. I thought I'd better do a quick update before I do anything else. Now this is the main, the, the pedestal mast, the, or the tripod, I've just got the screw down, there and there you go. Quite a bit on this one. I can zoom in a bit on this I think. 
all the way around and you can see the three, three white bits going up and basically they i made them like the only one that's the kit one is the one at the front and i measured them to make sure i've gone the right size and then, and then i've added my ladder at the top which i think you can see going up nicely all the way up the top and again it's got it's got a small bit of ladder on the front as well just like the other one to get to the mast and uh, yeah there is a little bit goes on the top of this one and i'm not sure whether i'm going to put it on it it's so minute but i've got the parts over there in the in little container so i might give it a go later on so, which goes up the sorry up the top there now if you can see now i don't know if you can see it but uh oh i forgot to put the one on there i've got it in the thing this come that's, that's, that's thing. i forgot to put the little mask that comes off the side of this one this one is in place this one here that was made again with rub rods measures to the kit part so i've got to put that bit up there for some reason i must have not glued it on so there you go that happens when you see things and that's a good thing about doing a video you can see what you've lost so here we go so the one that was up here the little short one that like this one the, the actual master the rear should be a little short one up there as well which i shall do later but there you go so that is basically all done you've got ladders down here either side now the only bit i haven't done is the bit that comes off here and i may cut these off and use a PE part as i said um i've seen one actual photograph where the, the actual boom come up here but when you look at the boom connectors even on the PE set there's no way it seems to be able to go up high it must have been able to do it was like a crane boom to forget i believe for getting the boats off so anyway we'll look at that later so there so that's it for now and, and i will get the actual little my, my little tent that's it for the photography tent out next time because that's got that's got all the it, all the right colors behind it without all the distractions and uh, behind it so there you go so thank you for watching this sorry about the quality of this video but it, i will put it back to normal in the next one so thank you very much and i'll catch you on the next one happy modeling